Here we're going to prove uh, that the law of sines works. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is by starting out by looking at this in terms of the same way that you might look at this in, as area. I'm going to draw an altitude, and I'm going to call this altitude h. I'm going to look at both the base angles here. Uh, and certainly I could do this from a different angle and use c as an angle. I'm going to start the expression uh, by looking at the uh, left side of this. And here I'm going to say that sine of a is equal to that height divided by that mini hypotenuse, which is c. And I'm just going to convert that to make that equal to h and call that c times sine of a. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with sine of c. So sine of c is equal to h over a. And getting h by itself, I get a times sine of c. At this point, I notice that both of my uh, equations are equal to c. I'm going to use the transitive property to set these equal to each other. And say that c times sine of angle A is equal to side A times sine of angle C. The last thing I'm going to do is to group my variables together, so divide both sides by angle C. That's going to get rid of that on the left, and divide both sides by angle A, which is going to get rid of that on the right, leaving me with sine of angle A over A is equal to sine of angle C over C. At this point, we have shown that two parts of the law of sines work. The third part can be found in a similar fashion. There are some other conditions to show that the law of sines works for all triangles, uh, but this is a good start and this is enough for our purposes in an Algebra 2 class.